Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Arch Linux and Windows 10 or 11 using your own custom Arch Linux installation script and please note that this guide is only for UEFI systems so without wasting any more time let's get started so first of all you need to download the Arch Linux ISO file and Rufus in order to make a bootable USB of Arch Linux after that you need to insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive data first and after that you need to open Rufus and after that you need to select the Arch Linux ISO file which you just downloaded earlier and make sure that partition scheme is GPT and click on start and this process will make a bootable USB of Arch Linux and it will take some times and since I have already made the bootable USB I am not going to do it again after that you need to click on close and after that right click on your start menu and open disk management now select any local disk with large space and right click on it and select shrink volume now allocate at least 30 GB of free space for Arch Linux I'm going to give about 40 GB of free space and after that you need to close disk management and finally we need a script to install Arch Linux so here I already have a script you can find this script in the link in the description box below so please check it out so if I open the script Now let me explain what this script does quickly. So first it will ask us to enter our EFI partition. As you can see, you need to enter the EFI partition in this format. So this is for NVMe SSD and this is for SATA SSD or hard drive. And after that, we need to insert our root partition block number. After that, we need to enter our username and then our full name and then password and after that it will format the root partition as ext4 and after that it will mount the root partition into slash mnt directory and after that it will create a slash boot slash efi directory and mount the efi partition into that directory so here in efi you need to enter the system efi partition of windows and after that it will start to install the base arch linux so as you can see this is the command and after it has finished that it will create a fs tab file and after that it will create a, another script file to set up the arch installation after we ch root into slash mnt so after we ch root into slash mnt it will execute the newly created sh file so this is the content of the new sh file so as you can see it will ask us to enter user and it will create our user based on the username we provided and the password as well and after that it will set up the user language and locale so by default it will set the language as en underscore us and time zone as asia so you need to change a little bit here depending on where you live and after that it will set the host name as arch linux and after that it will install the bootloader so here it will install the grub bootloader and after that it will install the video and audio drivers so if you don't have a nvidia gpu you need to remove these words containing nvidia and after that it will enable some necessary services and after that it will install a desktop environment so for this script i have chose to install gnome desktop environment so if you don't like gnome you can look up in the internet to install kde or some other desktop environments so this is the script to install gnome and after that it will show this message that install complete so this is for the script 
now what we need to do is we need to open our browser and open github and after that you need to create your github account and after you have created your github account you need to go into your repositories and after that you need to create a new repository you can give the name anything you like I'm going to give it Arch Linux and after that make sure that it is public and then click on create repository and after that you will see this bunch of commands so first you need to put the install script into a folder let's rename it arch and move that script into that folder and once you are inside this arch folder click on the location bar and type cmd and it will open a command prompt there now you need to follow these steps side by side so you need to run these commands one by one so git init will initialize a m empty repository in this directory and after that you need to type git add dot and it will add the file into the staging area and after that you need to commit the file by typing this command and after that you need to change the branch to main and you need to add this remote origin and after that you need to push your script into the main branch in the remote repository now if you refresh this page you will see this install.sh script now we need to reboot and boot into our Arch Linux installation media and start installing Arch Linux now while your computer is restarting you need to press the boot menu key which is either the escape key or F12 key depending on your motherboard and you need to make sure that your secure boot is disabled and inside the boot menu you need to choose the option which says USB So finally we have put it into the installation media of Arch Linux. Now I'm going to quickly increase the font size. So if you are using Ethernet connection then you are already good to go but if you are using Wi-Fi then we need to connect to Wi-Fi network first so type IWCTL and once you are inside IWCTL type device list and as you can see you will see the Wi-Fi adapter name of your laptop and after that you need to type station your device name in my case it is WN0 and then get dash networks as you can see it will show the Wi-Fi networks around your area now you need to type station WN0 connect and then your Wi-Fi name after that enter your Wi-Fi password after that type station WLAN 0 show and it, as you can see it is showing connected after that exit by typing quit Now type lsblk to see your drives in your system. As you can see, I have multiple drives, but you need to identify the drive where you created free space for Arch Linux. So for me, it was my 256 GB SSD, and its name is NVMe0N1, which is the parent one. 
so you need to type cf disk slash div slash your drive name and here as you can see this is the free space which you created on windows So you need to select the free space and select new and after that it will create a new Linux file system and after that you need to select right and it will make the changes and you need to select quit to exit out of CF disk. Now if you type lsblk again as you can see you will see a new partition which is NVMe 0 and 1 P3 and it may be different for your case so you need to note that number and you also need to identify your Windows EFI partition so it is usually the first partition of your disk so in my case it is NVMe 0 and 1 P1 now you can download the custom Arch Linux installation script so in order to download that script you need to type curl https colon for two forward slash raw dot github user content dot com slash your github username and after that your repository name so I and after that main slash the name of your script file so in my case it was install.sh and dash o and you can type this whatever you want so after that it will download the script so if I type ls you will see that the script is downloaded now you can execute this script by typing sh install.sh and press enter now enter your EFI partition name so it is slash div slash nvme 0 and 1 p1 for me so yours might be different so please verify this first before proceeding after that press enter and enter your root partition which is the newly created partition so it is slash div slash nvme 0 and 1 p3 and enter your username so I'm going to enter a name and after that enter your full name after that insert password now it will start installing Arch Linux and this process is going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward this So finally the installation is complete. Now you can just reboot by typing reboot. And if it does not boot into the Arch Linux automatically then you need to go into your BIOS menu and change the boot priority to Arch Linux. So this is the crop menu. As you can see we don't have a windows option in here so we are going to boot into arch linux and we are going to fix the dual boot so 
so as you can see we have successfully installed Arch Linux and put it into GNOME desktop environment now let's fix the dual boot so first we have to open the terminal and once you are inside the terminal you need to type sudo os dash proper and you will see our windows boot manager right here so what you need to do is we need to in edit the grub config file so type sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub and here you need to scroll all the way down and you will see this line grub underscore disable underscore proper equals to false so you need to uncomment the line by removing the hash in, st in front of it and after that press ctrl plus o and enter to save and ctrl x to exit now we need to make the grub configuration file again so type sudo mk-config sudo grub dash mk config dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg and here you can see a uh, windows boot manager entry is added now let's reboot and check our dual boot so let's reboot and boot into windows so as you can see we have a boot windows boot manager option in the grub menu So as you can see we are also able to boot into windows as well using the custom Arch Linux installation script. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.